guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a foundation review i'm going to be trying out the new tarte stick foundation i'm a huge fan of tarte cosmetics if you don't already know get with the program but yeah we're going to be trying out this foundation today i picked up the shade tan deep honey it comes in 12 different shades i believe and this is what it looks like on the inside i personally really love tarte um packaging like it always looks nice according to sephora's website this foundation is meant to be medium to full coverage and it's meant to cater to all skin types. So oily, dry, normal, sensitive, whatever your skin type is, this foundation can work for you. And it's meant to give you a nice um, natural finish. Micro encapsulated powders then burst with your body heat to keep the shine and cake free. That I really want to test out. The only stick foundation that I've actually tried that doesn't make me super shiny is the Anastasia one so if this one also works out that would be awesome um, yeah so that's what it says according to the Sephora website and I'm definitely looking forward to test out all of those claims this product comes with um, 9 grams of product in it it retails for 49 Canadian dollars which is kind of expensive for a foundation so if I apply the foundation I'm, going to, I'm just going to go in with some primer I'm using the Becca Ever Matte mattifying primer well, actually I don't even know if I should prime maybe I shouldn't prime so we can really see if the foundation would stay you know shine free like it claims so I'm not going to prime my skin today I'm just going to go in straight with the foundation I just have some moisturizer on and so that color correct I don't know let's just test the foundation on its own okay so super pigmented it's applying like really really nicely which is awesome I don't know if this shade is actually my color because it's looking very, very bright. I do like that it has a yellow undertone to it. I'm just using my Luxie Beauty Round Top Blender Brush 532 to blend out this foundation. And it's blending out really, really nicely. Like, can you see how that blended out? And it just looks very, very smooth which is quite impressive. When I blend it out, the color doesn't look too, too bad. So this is just one layer of the foundation and it covers pretty well. So I would say it's about medium to full coverage. Um, yeah, just one layer and it covered up those like tiny little um, dark marks that I have on my face. So, okay, so, so far so good. This is what the first layer looks like. So like I said, I definitely agree with the whole medium to full coverage claim. Um, it does cover pretty well and it also gives you a very, very natural finish because my skin looks very like glowy. And I'm just going to apply a second layer just because I really want it to be full coverage. And it applies so smoothly. I really like that too. It's very creamy. Alright you guys, so I have just done the rest of my makeup and so far so good. I'm really really in love and I'm really impressed with this foundation. It's been holding up so well. It like my makeup and you know the powder, concealer, everything blended really well with the foundation. My face just looks bomb. Well, it's been like two hours already because I was taking snaps and taking pictures and all that. But so it's 7:27. I'll come back and check with you guys maybe by like 10. When I filmed the first half of this video, it was around 4, so it has been like 3 hours, 2 and a half hours so far. Also, I noticed that it's not settling into my smile lines like really, really bad, um, which is another plus for me because I'm always in search of foundations that don't settle into um, my fine lines. So this is great and yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing how it wears throughout the night and I'll come back to update you guys on how everything looks okay. Hey guys, so it's currently about 4.56 in the morning um, and so <laughs> I know, don't even ask me how it got to this time but um, I actually ended up falling asleep um, and I fell asleep with my makeup on which you should not do but yeah, this is what the foundation looks like even after, you know, I fell asleep and I woke up. And it still looks pretty good. Like, if I were to go out right now, all I had to do was just, you know, like, pat down my face a bit. And 
I could still go out like my face still looks pretty fresh. It really stood up to the claims that um, they made. It's full coverage, medium to full coverage, very very beautiful. It's very creamy as well, blends out really nicely. Um, covers all of my imperfections like really really well. I didn't really have to do too much. I didn't have to color correct. And you guys remember I didn't use a primer with this foundation, right? So this oiliness is not even like as bad. Um, this is how oily I would get even when I use a primer with my regular foundations that I use. So um, you know, it doesn't. It's nothing surprising. But yeah, this is absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed. Um, my smile lines do not look crazy. Like usually, my smile lines would be like really, really like intense. You'd be able to see it really well. But it doesn't look that bad with this foundation, which is so impressive. And um, yeah, I'm just really loving it so far. I really, really like this foundation. I think the one um, con about this is shade range. They need to really work on the shade range because there's like, I think it's like 12 or 15 shades and like 3 of them are like for, you know, women of color and it doesn't really go that dark and it doesn't really cater to anyone that's like, um, in between shades, like it just jumps, I don't know how to explain that properly but it just goes from like light and then it's like dark and you know what I mean so um, I really think the shade range needs to be worked on and it's a little pricey but like I said most foundations on the market right now are around the same price like in that $50 range so like I'm not really surprised about that too but aside from um, those two things all of the claims that Tart to me concerning this foundation are actually true. And I do definitely recommend this foundation for oily skin and I don't really know how it works on dry skin obviously because I don't have dry skin but I think it should be good because it's very very creamy and it's very emollient. Anyways you guys I think I'm rambling and I'm really tired right now but um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I really made sure <laughs> I didn't wash my face and I did this video before. I actually did go to wash my face just so you guys can really see um, what the foundation looks like even when you wear it you know for a really long period of time and I wore it from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. so 12 hours thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please just subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in my next one have a blessed week and blessed day and yeah, bye guys.